Today we're going to check out the brand new Fire TV experience on the new Fire TV Stick or the Fire TV Stick Lite. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So since the introduction of the Fire TV, the menu has pretty much stayed the same. And so this is the biggest overhaul of the menu. And so today I'm going to run you through all of the different settings and where they are and how you can find certain things. But the first thing we need to do is make sure we get the update. Now to do this, you will need to have the brand new Fire TV Stick or the new Fire TV Stick Lite. It will be coming to other devices that you may have next year, so stay tuned for that. But the first thing we need to do on our Fire TV Stick is head into the settings. We're going to head to My Fire TV. We're gonna to go to About. We're gonna look for system update, and then we're going to go through the process of installing that update. Now the update did take a little bit, but once it is complete, you will see this new Fire TV intro when it is turning on. There's all these pretty colors. So if you're not seeing the colors, you're probably not on the latest update. Once the Fire TV finishes the update and reboots, it then gives us a notice about what's new. So there's a new main menu. It's now more personalized because of different profiles. And then it will also help you decide to watch with search and also movies, TVs, apps, free content, and much more. Okay, got it. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Next, it's giving us an option to choose a profile. So it already has me. I could add other profiles, but right now let's stick to just going to mine. And I also have the option to edit it right there if I want to change my name or to change my icon. And this is the new Fire TV interface. So right here, you can see that the home row is now in the center of the screen instead of at the top. And then we have different options below and some apps over on the right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the profile. Now at the bottom of the screen, you'll see some apps pop up. That's just because it's restoring all of my apps from my previous Fire TV. So let's go ahead and add a new profile. Now you can have up to six different profiles on each Fire TV. So we're going to select add profile and I've already set up my Amazon account with different profiles. So here I have my wife's profile and this all comes from my Amazon household. Here I have my different kids. So let's go ahead and create a profile for Adele. Here you can adjust name, birth date, as well as profile icon. And then we're going to select add. And now we're going to create a pin to keep her in the kid friendly profile. This will help them stay in their profile instead of accidentally going to yours where there's some content you may not want them to watch. And this is a five digit pin. Okay, it has now been created. And now we have the option to add content to this profile. So we can add different apps that we already have on our Fire TV. So if you go through here, let's say we want to select they can play Crossy Roads. We want them to play PBS Kids. Um, and then it's asking for different movies. So if I want them to have access to movies that I've purchased in my library, here I can select Ratatouille, Happy Feet, Bolt. So you can go through and really allow only certain movies that you want them to see on their profile. So let's just go through here and select some of their favorites and so on. Next, we have the option for apps that I own. So if I wanted them to have access to Disney Plus, I could do that. So let's go ahead and do this because they do like Disney Plus. That's everything I want for now. So we're gonna select next. Now it has created that profile. And so here we have the option to switch. So let's go ahead and check out the kids profile. And here we have the kids profile. So here are some Amazon Kids Plus content. Next you have other things that they might like, movies and TV shows. Then here's different content that I've added from my account. We have different content to discover, popular movies and TVs, character and themes, educational videos, as well as Espanol movies and TV. So it's really nice that there's this curated set of videos and content that they are able to watch. So I could let them play in here and I wouldn't be worried about them watching things that they aren't supposed to see. Now you do have options to adjust what this content is showing if you are using the kids Amazon app and then you have filters on what types of content is showing there. Here at the top you have the different profiles, our home, and then you do have the option to search if you wanna search for something. So let's say uh, she wants to watch something Harry Potter. She could come in here, type out Harry Potter and here it found some Harry Potter clip but it's not gonna allow her to go and see the Harry Potter movies she needs to read the books first. Now, while you are in the kid's profile, the voice commands do not work from the remote. 
Now, before we leave the kids profile, you do have the option to edit certain things about the profile there. And then you have kids settings, which require the pin code to get in. And in here, you have the option to adjust the content like we did at the beginning. And here we can turn on time limits or turn them off. Now, again, this is all controlled in the Amazon Kids app on how much time they can actually use. Here you have a bedtime. So is what this is going to do is turn off the TV so they can't use it after this time. And you can set screen time for weekdays as well as weekends. Now, if we go back, we also have the option for accessibility settings where here you are able to turn on closed caption, voice view, so the voice guidance system, the text banner, the screen magnification, high contrast text, and audio descriptions. So all of that is available for kids mode. Here you could change the child pin, and then here you have manage kids plus, where you can then update your plan and benefits and look at your different subscription details and all of that. Let's see how Disney plus works in the kids profile. And then here it is showing my full Disney plus profile. So I can come up here and I can change the profile to go to their profile, but there is no way to lock them into this profile in the Disney plus app. They do have the option to go to my profile if they figure out how to do that. Um, but there's no way to lock them into just theirs. And that's because that's the app setting. So if you do allow an app into the kids profile, just make sure that it is content that you would want them to watch. And when we push home, it just takes us back to the home page. So now let's head back to my profile and you will need the pin to leave. And so that's the kid profile. I could also go in and add my wife's profile. And so we could then switch between mine and her account. And so that makes it so I'm not getting recommendations of things she likes to watch and she's not getting recommendations of things I like to watch. So I really like how you do have the profile options there. Now up here at the top, you do have some promoted content. And so you can scroll through the top here and see some other information that Amazon is promoting or other tips and tricks that are available. So let's move on. Now let's go to the library. So this is my library. This is things that I've added to my watch list. Maybe I added this one, I don't know. Let's click on it and I'll show you how you can remove it from your watch list. So over here, I can select remove from watch list. Now that my kids have their own profile, they don't need to be watching this stuff on my account. Yes, it totally was them. So here I've added the Avengers to my watch list. If I wanna go down here, you can see other content that I have purchased and is available on my account. So that is my library. So here we have home. This is curated content for you based on things that you've watched and based on different apps that you have. So here it's saying up next is Avengers, Iron Man, of course, all these kinds of movies that I like to watch. Uh, here we do have a sponsored row, so certain videos that they want you to see. Then you have some other tips and tricks about the new Fire TV experience. Here it's Christmas time, so it's showing different Christmas movies. Here you have Amazon Originals, you have recently watched videos, you have live and upcoming events, another sponsored row, I am TV free movies, news, and so on. And it just keeps going of different content that you would be able to watch. Next, let's go to find. So under find, you can easily search by voice. So if I click on here, I can then type it in, or I could hold down the mic button on my remote to give a voice search. Ant-Man. So there I gave my request and here it is showing different content that is available under that search term. Next you have free movies. So if you don't wanna pay for a different subscription, you could come in here and see what is available from IMDb TV or Crackle and other free movie TV sources. Here you have different movies, TV shows, and the app store. And then you can even break it down under here by category. So first let's check out free. So if you don't wanna pay for a subscription service and watch videos, you would be able to do that here in this category. So it's showing different apps that feature free movies like IMDb TV, Tubi, Crackle, and others. And then here you can see different movies that you are able to watch and you can go through and scroll through and watch any of these. Now, some of them may feature ads during the video and that is how you are able to watch them for free. Going back, the next section is movies. So this is going to show you movies that you could rent or purchase or are available from different subscription services that you have signed into on your device. So let's say, and I wanna watch this Transformers movie, or maybe I'm thinking about watching it. Here I can see, oh, it's available right now with Prime. So I could watch that, but I don't wanna watch it right now. I'm just going to add it to my watch list. 
And then down here, there are other similar movies. Oh, this is the fourth. I could go to the first, add that to my watch list and add the rest and so on. So it's actually pretty cool that uh, it's very simple to navigate and easy to understand what you are watching, if it's available on different services and so on. So next we do have the TV section. At the top you have sort, so you can sort by all. You can show free to me, available for rent and buy, drama, action, and so on. So let's go ahead and say we wanna rent or buy something. And here it's showing me all kinds of things I could rent or purchase on my Amazon account. And last we have the app store. So if there is a service you already pay for and you wanna download the app, you can come here to the app store, search for that service, and then download it and sign into your account. So if you use Xfinity or Showtime or CBS All Access or TVision, you have all of those options here. And Amazon has done a great job of getting a lot of different services on here that you may use. Um, so here we have Hulu, you have YouTube, YouTube TV, Pluto, Disney Plus, NFL, ESPN, and so on. So that is the App Store. And then if you want to browse through kids and family stuff right on your profile, here it's going to show you different apps. It's gonna show you different videos that you could watch as well as different TV shows all right here. So you don't have to go to the kids profile if you don't want to. You could just watch some of that content here or search by other categories of info you're looking for. Now, the last tab here is the live category. So live is going to pull from different live services like Sling TV that has a live service, YouTube TV, IMDB TV have all of these different services and so on. And here it's showing different TV apps that use a subscription service. And then you have others that are supported with Prime Video channels. And then here it's saying I can watch something with live TV. So it's cool that you have that live category integrated right here. Instead of having to go into an app first, you have everything available at once. And here it's showing a sponsored post. You can get the Fire TV recast to actually record your own TV shows. And then you'd be able to come in here and watch them at any time. Now, next you have apps. So if I want to watch something from Netflix, I can click on the app or down here, it's even showing some recommended titles. I think they call this peak where you can quickly see a few different items that are available on Netflix. Here I have Prime Video. So if you just wanna see content only from Prime Video, I would be able to click here and do that. IMDb TV, YouTube, uh, news, Amazon, music, and more. So if you click the three dot menu here, you then have the option to go to all of your apps. So this is gonna show you all of the apps that are currently downloaded. It restored a bunch of apps from my other Fire TV. So if I wanna select a specific app, I would be able to do this. Now, if I want to customize the top six apps at the top or move these apps around, I just need to select the menu and now I can move an app. So I have move, move to front, remove app, or even uninstall. So let's go ahead and move YouTube TV to the front because that's something I'm using often. Next, I'm using Disney Plus a lot. So I'm going to select the menu and then I'm going to select move. And so I could then specify where I want it down here. And if I move it up to the top, it's going to move the other ones out of the way. So that's how you can customize your home row of apps. And then if you wanna watch an app, you just tap on it and it will load up that full app. Now to sign into apps, it's very similar to the previous way this worked on Fire TV here and the Disney Plus app. All I need to do is actually open my phone and it will automatically sign in. I just need to select allow. And now that I'm signed in, I can go ahead and watch anything here. And at the very end, we have our settings. So the settings is very similar to what we've seen before. Here you can view your notifications, you have your account and profile, your network, your display and sound, applications, equipment control. Well, one thing that I didn't talk about on my introduction to the new Fire TV stick is how with equipment control, you can actually control multiple devices with the Fire TV remote. So you are able to come in here and control a receiver as well as your TV at the same time, and it works really, really well. So all you need to do is select manage equipment, and then you would select add equipment, and if you have a receiver, a sound bar, a cable box, game console, it, there's just a ton of options you would be able to choose so that you can then control them with your Fire TV stick remote and it works really, really well. So that is equipment control. You have the live TV option. So if you wanna go and see what your favorite channels are, if you wanna manage your channels, you are able to come in here. And you can also turn on parental controls for this profile so that it filters certain content. 
Here you can go through and add a different controller. Then you have different Alexa commands that you can look at. You have your different preferences. Here you have My Fire TV. So if you wanna go and see if there are any other updates or anything, you come in here, go to About, and you can go to Check for Updates. You can also change your network, look at your storage, and uh, see more details about your Fire TV stick. And you can factory reset here as well. And then you have the accessibility options where you can look at closed caption, you have voice view, text banner, screen magnifier, high contrast text, as well as the audio description. And last, you do have help where you can look at videos, quick tips, contact Amazon, as well as send in feedback. And so that is how you can navigate through all of the new Fire TV experience. But one of the most important things is that you can now use this much easier by voice. So let's go ahead and get that set up and show you how that works. Before we talk about the voice commands, I do wanna make sure that you have your different devices set up correctly. Now you can use the voice commands on the Fire TV Stick remote, but I like to use a Echo device so that I can give voice commands to it and it will automatically respond to certain things on the TV. So let me show you how you can get this set up. Now here I am using the new Echo Dot fourth generation, but this could work with any of the other Echo devices. So first we're gonna head into the Amazon Alexa app and then we're gonna to go to the More tab, and then we're gonna select Settings, and scroll down and you will see TV and Video. And then right here at the top, you have Fire TV. So we're gonna link our Fire TV to our Echo device. So we're gonna select Manage Devices, and down here we're gonna select Link Another Device. And so here I have Brett's Fire TV stick. Select Continue, and now I'm going to link my Echo Dot 4th Gen. All right, that's it. Now they have been linked together. We now have the option to use voice commands from our voice enabled remote, or we can use them from the new Echo Dot. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that this is on the same profile as the TV. So I would just say, switch profile. Now in Carrie's account. So it's in the wrong account. If it's in the wrong account, it's not gonna work. So make sure it's linked to the right account. Switch profile. Now in Brett's account. All right, now that we are in the correct account, we can now ask it to do different things on the TV. So I could say, go to home on Fire TV. And here you can see it changed the Fire TV without me touching anything on the remote. Scroll down. Select one. Select number two. So I was able to navigate pretty far all by voice, but then to select it, I will need to use the remote here where I click and then I would be able to watch the video. So pretty cool that you have that integration right from your Echo device. I can also say things like, play tech with Brett on YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. So then it will load up the YouTube app and it will start playing videos from that account. You could also open a specific app. Open Netflix on Fire TV. Getting Netflix from Fire TV. And so here it opened the app store and then I could select, select one. And there it opened the app. Now there are certain apps that are voice enabled and some that aren't. Netflix is one of those that is voice enabled. Select. And so here it went into the app and I have all those different navigation controls. Go home. And then we can even pull up our watch list. We can navigate back. We can select specific episodes and we can have it show certain Amazon commands. Go to my watch list. And so instead of having to navigate through a bunch of menus here, you can see my watch list and I can easily select one of those items. Show me the weather. Here is the weather in Orem. And there you can see it displays right on the TV. Show me my shopping list. Here's your shopping list. Again, that is showing up on the TV. I definitely need to get some Reese's peanut butter cups. Go back. And I was able to go back. 
So you also have all of those options here on the remote. All you need to do is hold down the mic button and give your command. Go to home. Go to live. And here you can see after I've linked some of my accounts, uh, different live episodes are popping up. So here if we want to watch some Peg and Cat, I can just select play. And now we are watching it from YouTube TV. And then if we want to switch our profile on the TV, we can do that as well. Switch profiles. Here are your profiles. So here it pulls up the profile menu, and then I'm able to go through and navigate and choose a different profile. And so here in my wife's account, it's then giving her recommendation based on what she has watched. Switch profile. Here are your profiles. And you still have all the commands you are used to. Show me action movies. And so here it's gonna pull up a bunch of different movies that you could watch. And if there's a specific movie that you do want to watch, you can ask it to play that as well. Play Iron Man 2. Getting Iron Man 2 from Prime Video. And so there it starts playing the video. I don't have to select anything after that as long as you know exactly what you wanna watch and if it is available with the services you've signed to over on the TV. Skip forward 30 minutes on Fire TV. Pause. So that is the new Fire TV Stick experience that's available on the new Fire TV Sticks and coming soon to your devices early next year. Now, overall, I'm really excited about the experience. It seems a lot easier to navigate. Uh, the flow of all of the different menus are a lot better and it's much easier to find what I want to watch. Now, I wanna thank Amazon for sending out a Fire TV Stick and the Echo Dot to test this out today. And if you have any further questions about this experience, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see how I set up my original Fire TV Stick, you can check out the video over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.